Flip Science team. So I'm gonna show you a really cool science trick today. I'm gonna show you how to take water, that's all I got in here is water, and we're gonna transfer it from one cup to the other just using this string. But just like all good science, we're gonna have to test it out first. So let's get to testing. Just as a heads up, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on a small scale, and then we're gonna test how big you can actually do this experiment. So I'm gonna crawl up on top of one of our uh, garage-esque type things. It's kind of like a storage unit. I'm gonna see how far I can get this thing and how much how much water I can transfer um, at a long distance. Because I'm really curious. I've only seen this really done like from like one side to one side. So um, let's master at least getting it to go from here to here first, and then we'll see how how, how long we can actually do this. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna soak this string. Now, the reason this whole experiment works is because water is a super interesting chemical. It's everywhere, so we kind of take it for granted, but like water is super cool. Water is both adhesive and cohesive. And what that means is that if it's adhesive, it'll stick to itself. Uh, if it's cohesive, that means it'll stick to other things. So this experiment's actually gonna take advantage of both water's properties of being cohesive and adhesive in order for us to let the water dance along the string from one uh, little like, Tupperware container to the other. And so, just to explain the adhesive, so the water is also sticking to this string. Uh, so the water is sticking to the string, and as we pour this, the cohesive property of water, the water will stick to the water that's already on the string, and it'll go right down the string, right into here. So let's go ahead and just give it a shot. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, look at that. Wow. Wow. That is insane. So if you don't pour too much, it'll run right along the string. First of all, that works really well. I'm really surprised by that. There's a water that we've captured inside of there. Take a look down in there. Some has spilled out on the side here, but that's just because it's like hanging on the edge. I want to try to get this to where it's kind of going back that way. That way there's no edge to it and it'll all just go directly into, Let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna get this string nice and tight. That is so awesome. Boom! Look at that. Whole thing. Literally did the whole thing through this little string right here. From one to the other. Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up on the uh, uh, on the garage. We're gonna see if we can pour three cups, 10 feet, from the top of the garage down to the bottom. Here's where my ninja skills come in handy. Here we go. I'm just kidding, that'd be crazy. I have a little stool over here. Definitely dripping, but is it getting there? Hmm. Ah, here, here we go. Uh, there, yeah, we're getting some. Oh no, we're losing so much. What I've noticed is the tighter that you have this line, the better off you are. We're losing a lot to the line itself, as you can see by the line of water on the ground. But we're definitely getting some in there. There we go. That's it. That's the rest of it. All right. You know what? This is actually pretty good. We take a look. We're almost at a cup. So we started with three cups and we ended up with a cup. It's pretty easy math right there. Our efficiency was 33%. So um, for what came down off of our garage and down our, our string, our cohesive and adhesive uh, properties of water, allowed us to capture 33% of 
of the uh, of the actual water itself. 33% is pretty good. I mean, that's it's pretty decent. Um, I was really impressed by this. We still have one more test to do, and that is this guy right here um, to see how well this. I, I'm looking at the line right now, and I see that like it's really frayed. Um, I'm gonna just do a test run up there, but I'm really impressed with this. Our string, our original string, um, had an efficiency ratio or an efficiency percentage around 33%. Uh, that's really good. I'm really impressed by this. I'm really impressed by this string, this like simple experiment and how well it worked. All the way from up there, it's like 10 feet. 10 feet all the way down here. Alrighty, we're gonna do the exact same test. We're gonna use this thicker, uh, like hemp. It's not actually hemp, it's just cotton. Let's see if this has any sort of appreciable difference. Uh, again, we're gonna use three cups. Let's see what happens. Seems like it's it's hanging on a little. It, it's doing a pretty good job, but which I think it's doing a better job. Boom! There we go. We have almost a cup and a half. That's ah, like in between a half and a, and a quarter or so. What would that be? Three. Three fifths. Uh, <laughs> eight. Three eighths. <laughs> three eighths. So it's it's a cup and three eighths. Um, so it's in between a half and, and a quarter. We definitely transferred more material a lot faster. Uh, and I guess it makes sense. I mean, if we're looking at the string, it's a lot bigger than our last one. Um, and it's kind of just like you know, like a pipe, like a, like a, like a sewer pipe or a drain pipe. The bigger pipe you have, the more water you can send down that pipe. One more time, just drive this home. So water is a polar molecule. Uh, what it means is that there's two sides to the to the molecule. One side is positively charged, the other side is negatively charged. It's kind of like a little tiny magnet, um, and that's what gives it the properties of cohesion and adhesion. Um, it, it's cohesive because the little magnets, little positive and little negative sides, actually stick to each other. So you have the positive to the negative. And then the water molecules all stick to each other into this big massive blob of like water, like a water droplet. Um, those same properties are the same properties that allow it to be adhesive. So the little positive and the negative sides allow it to attach itself um, to other things like, like the wood. So there we go, adhesion, cohesion is the reason this experiment works. Um, water is a incredible, incredible uh, chemical that we just kind of have like, you know, at our disposal. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, did this blow your mind that you could send this much water through a string? Um, if you love science, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.